In this video, we are going to learn how to draw a schematic using AutoCAD Capture tool. We are going to take up a very simple circuit. It consists of a J1 two pin connector, a resistor, and an LED D1, which could be a light emitting diode. In terms of the functionality of this circuit itself is very simple. If you connect a power supply between pin number two and one, the LED will go glow. The purpose of this is to learn the schematic capture tool use the ORCAT capture tool. We open the ORCAT capture and then we go to file, new, design. When you do this, it opens up a new design and this is the name of our design which you can uh, rename it whatever you, if you want or you could possibly save as which will give it a different name but for now I will leave it as it is design 5. There is a directory structure you have a schematic directory that consists of only one page for now but you could add more pages this is a very simple circuit so we need only one page. If you double click this page 1 you see a blank page, a blank working area, and all it has is on the right bottom right side uh, some place where you can play, put the uh, title of your schematic and then a revision code, which is A obviously here. And now you can slide these things up and down. What we do now is we go to place part. We are trying to place some parts. So if you you initially, if you have a new ORCAD install, this thing will be like this. What we need to do is we add libraries. Libraries are files which contains the symbols, different symbols, and they are categorized into uh, different names depending upon their functionality. For example, transistor.olb contains the transistors in this library. For our purpose, we need just two libraries. One of them is uh, for the connector, which is in connector.olb, and the other is discrete, which contains the register. Okay, so now what we do is we select the discrete and we search for, let's say, register. So we got this resistor and you see that the resistor is displayed here. If you double click this, you get the resistor. The next thing we want to do is place the diode. We go to again this discrete diode library and search for diode. So there are different types of diodes. And then we, for example, this is it will show you this one type of breakdown diode. We'll use just this simple diode. Double click on the diode and this symbol appears on our main canvas. We left click the mouse button and the diode gets placed. You press escape and then press the mouse somewhere else. You can select this diode D and now we want to rotate it. We right click and then click on rotate it gets rotated, but we want to, we can keep on rotating again and again. A shortcut to doing this is just select this diode and press R and it keeps rotating. And that's where the way we want. Now we move this diode so it becomes very close and aligned with the R1. We need to connect this R1 with this diode and to do this, we click on the place wire symbol. And then you left press the mouse button and click on the two edges successively and this R1 register and D1 diode gets connected. We next need to place the connector. We go to this connector library and search for CUN2. That just gives us this two pin connector G. We double click on CON2 and we get this two pin connector on our canvas. <laughs> Left press the mouse button and the connector gets placed. Press the escape key to get out. We next need to place the wire. To place a wire, click on this mouse button, the symbol, and click on the register and then 
near the plus pin number one of G1 connector. The one thing that you want to know at this point is that you can, for example, if you need to make this pin two go on the top, you can click on this J1 connector, right click and mirror vertically. By mirroring it vertically, pin number two goes on the top and one becomes the bottom. We next need to connect this pin one with this diode D1 that we can connect like this. We now need to add the ground and the VCC power to the circuit. We click on the place ground symbol and then if you browse through this you should find something like zero slash cap sim and then double click this that gives you a ground symbol. In a bigger circuit you will need to place several of these and then we can use add wire to connect it to the ground symbol. We again click on the place ground and then look for the VCC symbol. For example, uh, this is one VCC symbol that I like, VCC arrow, double click one, this one, and then bring it here. Connect it with your circuit using the wire, add wire. So this pretty much completes your circuit. This, some of the few things that I wanted to mention is, this is a zoom button that you can use to, to zoom your circuit in and out. You can add some text to your circuit using this place text symbol. For example, you can place some, something like LED circuit. And then you can change its font, make it bold, make it large, select the color you want. I like this blue color and place it anywhere you want. You should add as much circuit as much text as possible to make the circuit clear. There are a few more things. For example, this is a place rectangle. It's not an electrical part, but it helps if you have circuits in different sections and if you want to make them look better. For example, I can choose this kind of a style to make my circuit look a little uh, nice in, in terms of presentation. So this wire things and some of the, if you look at this canvas thing, there are two types of, two categories of things. One is there are the electrical connections. For example, this wire is an electrical connection, but this rectangle is not an electrical connection. It's just for, it's a showpiece. It makes you look better. So this is uh, pretty much uh, all you need to know to draw a very simple circuit. In real practice, what you will do is you will have some reference circuit or you can download some existing circuit from the internet and then use copy these components from that circuit and place it in your circuit. In there are more videos, I will show you how to create a library, how to create a new IC and more things. Thanks for watching this.